So you've gone to set up a new hardware wallet and you've been prompted as to whether you want to create a 12 word, an 18 or a 24 word seed and you have absolutely no idea which one to pick. And I'm just going to have a real short look at uh, why I think it's really, really worth picking the 24 word seed every single time. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop about content I make that helps you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. So in a number of my videos where I've been looking at uh, seed phrase backup or initializing hardware wallets and things like that, uh, I've always, always suggested that people choose a 24 word seed over a 12. And a number of people have asked me through various mediums, uh, you know, does that mean that 12 word seeds are insecure? I think at the very beginning, it's important to say that 12 word seeds are secure, but at the same time, they kind of represent the minimum level of security. And that assumes that you are doing things correctly in terms of how you handle your seed, how you store your seed, uh, how you secure all the different parts of that process. A 24 word seed protects you from yourself in some important ways. If your wallet is generating its seeds properly, there is a lot more entropy that goes into making a 256 bit key compared to 128 bit one. So the reason why having more entropy that goes into your seed is important is because if the entropy generation for your seed is imperfect, which you know they all are to a greater or lesser extent, having larger amount of entropy going into your seed sort of offsets that. In the video I make that looks at creating a seed phrase using dice, one of the important things to understand there is even if your dice were hopelessly, hopelessly unfair uh, to the point that they were basically as bad as flipping a coin, if you had rolled it enough to generate 256 bits worth of entropy, you would actually still have ended up with over 100 actual real bits worth of entropy. The second reason why using a 24 word seed versus a 12 word seed can be important is that a lot of people are doing things like splitting up their seed into like two cards or three cards and things like that. But the reality is if you have a 12 word seed that you're splitting across three cards, meaning you're only leaving four off on each one, uh, that is scarily close to what someone can brute force in a reasonable amount of time if they have even one card. And uh, Ian Coleman's tool now has this feature built into it and actually gives you uh, what, what are some optimistic estimates in terms of how long it takes to brute force something. This tool allows you to see the difference in the huge amount of entropy that you have in your seed and particularly the difference that it makes if you're doing things like splitting seeds. And uh, on a number of occasions, I've said, I think this is a bad approach, but I know a lot of you are doing it. Again, if you're using a 24 word seed, the number of words uh, that are missing off each card make it far, far, far harder for someone to realistically brute force. The other thing is that if you're someone who's scrambling up your seed words, because again, I know people are doing this because people have asked me for help when they've forgotten how they've scrambled it. If you have a 12 word seed, it's actually possible to unscramble your seed. So for example, if you have a 24 word seed, even if I were to give you all 24 words, but in a random order, you actually wouldn't be able to brute force that seed. Uh, whereas with a 12 word seed, you can actually brute force it in a you know fairly realistic time frame. So again, there's a sense in which the longer seed protects you from yourself. And that's why when you use the uh, standard recovery process on the Trezor, you know, not the advanced recovery, it will pad your seed out to 24 words with fake words because, you know, they know and understand uh, that if someone has your 12 words, even out of order, if you only have 12, uh, they could actually brute force that fairly easily. I think it's also fair to say that if your wallet supports a 24 word seed, you know, while it can be more of a hassle to write it down for the first time, while it can definitely be more of a hassle to, you know, run through the verification uh, and the restoration process for a 24 word seed versus a 12, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that all the time. You know, restoring your seed onto your wallet should be something that's only happening very rarely. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely worth it just to take that bit of extra time to use the maximum amount of security that your wallet can do. Once the seed is in there, it doesn't matter whether your seed is 12 words, 18 words or 24 words long, it all works the same. So there you go. So I think the practical thing to understand is the difference between a 12 word and a 24 word seed when it comes to security is less about, you know, the maths behind what secures things and more about the kinds of ways uh, that people, all of us tend to sometimes make mistakes, tend to make assumptions uh, and tend to do things that perhaps aren't ideal in terms of our security practices. Uh, and again, the key thing is that when you're using a full length 24 word seed, you just have a much larger buffer uh, of entropy there 
to uh, keep you safe if you're doing things like splitting your seed. If someone gets their hands on some of it, but not all of it, gives you more protection if perhaps the uh, source of entropy for your seed perhaps wasn't as good as what you thought. Fortunately, the vast majority of hardware wallets in the market all support 24 word seeds, even though some of them uh, by default will only initialize with a 12 word seed. And uh, if you're using one of those wallets like a Trezor T or a Keep Key, for example, you'll often have to use some other tool, maybe like Electrum or something like that to initialize the device with a full 24 word seed. Because at the end of the day, if your wallet supports 24 word seeds and your seed storage mechanism supports 24 word seeds, why not use it? Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.